How's it going, everyone? It's Liam Carrison here. It's time for another episode of Once Upon a Time. It's episode number six for season six. Um, yeah, we really uh, delved into the Aladdin stuff in the last episode after it was teased in episode number one um, with, uh, of course, his encounters with Jafar as well as Jasmine. Um, and the fact that he has given up his abilities as the saviour, which could be very very fundamental for Emma of course with destiny calling for her death um but um she has uh, decided no to hell with that so get rid of the she is and all of that and we'll be happy hook is not he he's 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 not listening to that advice understandably of course because uh, given the fact that of course his love for Emma stands tall it's um not an easy decision for him to um be like okay I'll just plop the shears into the ocean there you go um especially with the fact that he's lost a lot of people as well and um um you you could say his love for Emma has burnt so like burned so so much it, it really would hurt so badly if uh, he ever lost Emma. So, you know, hopefully that day doesn't come and there will be an alternative uh, ending to this bad future that uh, we are seeing. But we'll just have to wait and see. But um, I'm excited to get into this episode. So with that said, it's episode number six of season six for Once Upon a Time. Let's go. Is it that I was going to say, that's not a sea monster. I assure you it's quite possible. That's not a sea monster. What does that mean? What the devil are you up to? Saving your life. Oh shit! He's kidnapped the captain! Darn. Excuse me for not taking any chances. Thanks, sis. Oh, why did you not bolt? Static in the waves, so though, David. Oh. So, now. Yeah. You know. You don't have to stay. I'll be fine on my own. No, 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 nonsense. You show me how to operate the helm of your video box, whatever it's called. Okay, first, just let me take out the trash. Well, it's actually start with this junk food. This is the Xbox he was talking about. Really gonna eat this rubbish, are you? I'm sure there's a. See your feeds, right? Hurry back. I doesn't care about you or Emma. So now. You have to ask yourself twisting that one time narrative. Question. What are you going to do about it? She's really twisting the narrative though. Oh, he doesn't care. When in actuality. Love how she's also pushing the dad agenda as well. Holy what kind of dark magic is this? Magic. Holy You're aboard damn. my ship. You're now many fathoms under the sea. Welcome to the Nautilus. Wait. Call me Nemo. Oh shoot! What? Henry, stop! Let go of me! Listen about the bloody shears right now. I was gonna say he's looking at something. What the hell is that? Oh, is he back? Oh, come on. The captain wants to see you. Yeah, well, tell him to jog on. Gonna let him ever be a part of our son's life. He is difficult. That is a good question. Mm. Well, it's when you don't have to answer for at least two more trimesters. Gotta guess a long way to dw uh, dwell upon it. I wasn't trying to take that away from you, Henry. Why do you even care? You're not even a part of this family. Oh, yikes! Blowing the matter. balls. We're just gonna end up fish food on the ocean floor soon, anyway. We've gotten out of more scrapes than this. Remember the walking prisoner gag? Wookie, Wookie, prisoner gag. Oh, he's trying. Wookie, what's a Wookie? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> When I was a child, my family was taken from me. I grew up next to the docks, fending for myself, desperate to make the people who took them pay. It was only a matter of time before I got myself killed. 
Well, I was going to say, that's like... Yeah, I don't know, it's giving kind of shades to Melfire. Saved my life. Let me ask you one question. But there's more than gold and jewels in that chest. Yeah, I was going to say, is he going to... Ah! Release the Kraken! <laughs> Oh, I can shit. smell your magic all over it. You want the shears? I didn't think you cared whether or not the savior met her fate. You really think the shears of destiny work only on the saga? Oh, shit. I don't even know where to start to fix it. I don't even know what happened. Maybe that's where you start. Yeah. You can't fix a problem until you know what it is. Exactly. You can't make assumptions, you just have to give it a proper examination. Like a leak, I guess. I don't know. I killed my father. And I left an innocent boy. An orphan. Wait. Wait, is he the... Oh my god! He's Liam too. What's your first mate's name? Liam. Liam. <laughs> the second Liam. Sounds so Can weird. I what you did to Liam with me. Without referring to my auto series. I was hoping you'd say. Brother! Hello, brother. Hello, brother. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, here we go. We love a good brotherly squabble. You don't have to leave. Uh, my heart is no stronger than yours. There we are. Had a feeling no. that Nemo was going no. to die. No, 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 no. 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 Damn it, Liam. You, so what happened? Hide. He took him, which means Nemo died the moment he got here. Oh, wait. It's a land of untold stories. The guy that David brought in. Nemo's here, Liam. He's here. Oh, boy. Are you okay? I thought I told you to leave. And if I listened, you'd be dead. Yeah. This is Henry we're talking about. But where do we start? First, we'll make sure we won't be tempted to take the easy way out again. Oh, we know that they're not going to be um, hidden because Rumble's after them. So he's going to be like, yoink. Caravan pushed through the worst of it, but when we crested the great sand dunes, it was gone. Great. Agrabah was gone. Gone? Like disappeared? Like vanished? Or like Mandalore? I do know that our son in our dream, he looked at dream with such a but that's the path that Rumpel's currently there might on. Be a chance for things to turn out differently for them. That much I hope. Not that I'm condoning Rumpel whatsoever, because he's been a dick, but... Well, maybe he can. As I suspected. David brought him in. How's Liam? Is Great! Okay? <laughs> oh, he is now. Sorry. I feel like I'm still missing a huge part of the story here. Your kid brother has a submarine, and he kidnapped you. What were you guys even doing at the docks in the first place? We were just fishing. You wanted... And before you say anything, they're at the bottom of the ocean, and they can tell no tales. He's only trying to... He doesn't want to lose you. You do? I don't want to tell you. 
exact same thing. You did do the exact same thing, in a sense. And what is it you really want? No way! Oh no, that's gross. Oh, oh, oh. It's gross and awkward. Oh no. Really? Really? Fortunately for you. There we are. Carrot. There are still a few underwater creatures. Carrot on a favor. stick. Well, the one thing I've always wanted. Snow White's heart. Yeah, well, you can piss off. There was a moment. <laughs> oh, there was a moment I thought she was going to say to get laid with you. <laughs> because, oh. Gross. Because both, well, I mean, Henry is, yeah, her kid technically. Rumpel's grands, yeah. I mean, we know how complicated the um, especially the um, whole charming line is, but I, I no no way no I I I, I, I thought she was good. She's definitely gonna walk in on them to just probably in bed with each. Other. That would have been no. I don't want to even want to bring that into the bloody universe because it's. I mean the 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 whole is is bad enough so. Overall, though, I am feeling like with six episodes into Once Upon a Time um, Season 6, I am feeling like this is a very, very strong season. I would say, comparing to the last couple of seasons, um, this season is really um, showing a really... I mean, apart from that ending... Ugh, <coughs> um, <laughs> no, this season has been really um, standing tall. It has been showing a great strength in standing tall, I would say. Um, I am really... I mean... I have enjoyed season four and season five, but I feel like this is um, strands ahead, in my opinion, so far. Uh, of course, the latter part of season six could dwindle, but um, no, so far, this um, journey has been pretty, pretty neat. Um, it was a really, really uh, great episode to focus on uh, the whole theme of, um, you know, the father and the son, really. Um, especially in regards to whether it's, you know, biological or... Or not, uh, because it, it wasn't just, um, you know, the whole idea of um, Killian being a father figure to Henry. And, uh, you know, there is that struggle in that uh, notion. But it was also Nemo and Liam. And it, I guess to an extent, uh, the whole situation with Rumpel um, to, um, his chi uh, to his child that Belle is carrying. And uh, what she is uh, going through as well. So... It was a really, really solid episode, um, and I really did like the whole um, kind of um, uh, the the whole kind of idea of uh, pushing things closer between uh, Henry and um, uh, and Hook um, because he does want to be a part of this family, and obviously there are a bit of complications with the fact that the Shears, which were ultimately going to get uncovered at one point. Um, you know, through a bit of a spanner in the works in terms of um, dam uh, of, of of causing a few cracks between uh, Henry, especially uh, and and Hook, uh, especially with the fact that uh, obviously with the idea of Emma being the savior and um, you know Killian um, keeping that that could um, take away um, Emma's abilities, um, but we obviously know why uh, he kept it and. You know, there was that nice exchange uh, at the hospital between uh, Hook and Emma. And um, that was very, very fundamental because of the fact that um, Emma, uh, like, with Emma, she understands. And, and, and it's like what I said in the last episode. I mean, obviously, when Hook was dying uh, in season five, uh, we know what Emma did in order to save 
uh, him. And now the, the roles are kind of reversed in a sense because now Emma's life is on the line. Yes, she's not dying uh, at the minute, but she is dying in the future, apparently. Um, and it was really, really great that, uh, like, if, if this was, like, Arrow Season 4 or whatever, this would have gone on for, like, half a season or whatever. <laughs> um, but I am really glad that um, Hook, did tell Emma in regards to um, not just defying the whole we don't keep secrets from each other even though we do mantra that the Charmings do adopt because I mean let's be honest they do keep secrets um, even though they tried not to but yeah um, and you could say this was a secret itself but I do feel like um, Hook was in a bit of a conflict because yeah I mean it's it's the heart at the end of the day it's the heart over the he head um, because, um, yeah, Emma said, you know, get rid of them, etc. And, um, ultimately, you know, you should, but at the end of the day, he, I mean, he does love Emma. And I think, like I said, a lot of people would probably be in Hook's position in regards to, um, fearing to the point where you're going to keep the shears because you you don't know um and and and, and that's it it took a bit of thinking especially, especially with henry for hook to realize what was the right decision but your feelings are uh, love can be a very very tricky situation um where it can complicate logic and uh um he does want that he he does want he does want a family um in regards to being with Emma, being with Henry, and yeah, he might not be Henry's father at the minute, but um, he it, it's it's going to take time, of course. Um, I mean, he's just recently moved in, um, and you know he is he he is always looking out for Henry, and it's just really really not you know nice to see uh, that bonding. But yeah, like I said, in ter terms of telling Emma, it was really really great because um, she needed to hear why he kept the shears etc it's it's not like he's being selfish whatsoever we know why but um i know uh, uh, you know emma said this and that but um not just that though uh he he's trying to show that honesty um because you know the the notion of i mean you saw how he uh, how how he was in the last episode when you know, the evil queen outed Emma's secret to uh, everyone. He was deflated as fuck um, about the prospect that Emma could die. Uh, Emma's been having these visions where she's going to die. And, uh, um, you know, if you're told that you were there when you saw your significant other getting stabbed, that's going to trouble you. Because you don't want to see that shit whatsoever. So, um... Granted, it's it uh, like obviously getting rid of the she is is not going to eliminate the um, um, the prospect that Emma could die. But the, but Hook said he's going to find another way. He's determined. Um, he just doesn't want things to be very very complicated, especially if he wants this family to happen. So. Um, so yeah, um, I, I I I like I said in the last episode, I do understand and. Um, yeah, it it is really really great to uh, to see that bonding between Henry and 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 Hook, um, especially with the fact that he does care. For, I mean, obviously we know he cares for Emma, and he does care for Henry. And um, I feel like this episode really built some foundations uh, there, um, especially when Henry was not really too pleased with Hook's little bit of secrecy, but I mean he was willing to you know sacrifice himself etc for for. Henry, um, and yeah, he he understands that he might not be the father of of Henry, but he wants to be um, part of this family. He wants to, um, you know, maybe one day marry Emma, etc. And uh, um, he wants to be there, and it's you know really really nice to see him trying to be on uh, trying to cater to Henry in an honest way. So. Yeah, I gotta say though, I really did love the like, uh, the whole like you know like just a side note and just something benign, but the whole um, you know, 
the idea of him just getting in tune with the whole Xbox situation and the Star Wars reference brought up again. Um, I mean, there might be the case of how is he going to play because of the fact that he's got a hook, but, you know, there, there are custom controllers. I'm sure that can uh, be beneficial for Hook, so, yeah. Um, but I'm just thinking, Sea of Thieves is a game. What I mean, it's 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 a it's it's a great game for Hook, right? So, yeah. um, but yeah, I really really did love that, as well as the fact that obviously we had uh, the return of the second Liam. <laughs> See, I say that because technically it's true, but you know, I just can't help but thinking about that, um, and just relate to my audio series. It's you know, sidetrack. I don't need to go on about it i'm not gonna you know self plug or whatever but um i can't call him liam too i have to call him the second liam so yeah anyways um yeah um we had of course the return of the second liam um which really took me by surprise in regards to them i guess cat i mean it shouldn't really take me by surprise that they revisited that kind of saga when obviously hook killed his father and deprived the second liam from uh, growing up with his father. But yeah, it did. And um, when Hook brought up the fact about the fact uh, about the moment he killed his father and deprived the second Liam from, um, you, you know, from his father whilst he was still young, I, was, uh, I, I, I that's when the light bulb hit. Um, because of the fact that I thought we would never get to see the second Liam again, lo and behold. So, um but it, it is completely understand I, I like it, well i would say it's completely unexpected that the second liam wanted revenge um so but now there is that hope well there is not just that hope that um he can find redemption especially with the fact that um you know nemo is very forgiving uh, about the facts that like you saw at that hospital bed um and it was really, really gr great that he played a very supportive role in regarding uh, the fact that revenge does leave you empty. And he was just trying to be uh, a bit of help. But um, there is that idea that, um, you know, he can do better like Hook did, um, for example. So, But it, it, it's not just, you know, great for Liam to uh, potentially go on the path of redemption but also for hook uh, for hook himself because now he's um got uh, like you've just think back to um the first liam uh, i guess in the underworld and um how um there was a bit of a kerfuffle there and there is that catharsis with um him um you know ascending etc and him uh, having his um unresolved matters uh, attended to but you 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 also think about the fact that yeah that was uh, very cathartic for for hook and, but there is the idea that um what he did to his father and what he uh, and, and how much of an impact that had on the second liam that's that might have still ha uh, weighed on his mind uh, thinking about um matters um and um now there can kind of be this... Re I mean, depending of if the second Liam doesn't go off on the deep end, which I hope not, There, there is that kind of, um, I don't know, catharsis for, for Hook because of the fact that, I mean, he was honest to Emma um, and him and Henry are on good terms again. And now, he not only has he found his um, second brother, but he can hopefully... Um, um, that this can hopefully um shine a brighter future for him and and liam uh, the second liam so um uh, like i said depending on if the second liam stays noble like if he goes off on the you know whole vengeance uh, tour gig or whatever then yeah that's that's going to be a bridge we have to cross but yeah it is really really it, it, it is a really really um cathartic moment at the, at this moment of course for hook uh, the future could spell different things, but we'll 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 see what does happen. Um, but yeah, um, going to the whole father and son um, situation as well. Uh, I guess Rumpel, even though that uh, the focus was on Bell uh, in regards to um, 
you know how she was feeling uh, in regards to um, in regards to um, should Ropeport be kept away from my kid, etc. Um, and yeah, I mean, first off, I am kind of glad that I mean I say kind of because I'm in two minds. I want her to um, go back to not. Uh, to just being done with Rumpel's bullshit again, um, seeing him snog the evil queen, which is it it sickens my soul just saying that. But um, yeah. Um, but on the other hand, I'm kind of glad I don't need that EastEnders moment. To be fair, so <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, we had um the whole idea of Rumpel and his um unborn child, of course. Uh, even though the focus was more so on Belle because of the fact that um, um, I mean, I am glad that she has been putting her foot down in regards to Rumpel. Um, but she doesn't want to. Uh, I guess um. She doesn't want to keep her kid away from Rumpel. She doesn't want to cause. She doesn't. She wants to give her kid her best chance, uh, uh, um, uh, or his best chance, should I say, his her. Don't know. Um, but yeah, she wants to give um, her kid his or her best chance, uh, and you know you don't want any kind of complications to happen, especially with how persistent Rumpel is being. Because at the end of the day, Rumpel is going to um, want to love um his kid um and if bell does try to run away etc uh, run from rumpel then it's just gonna you know cause uh it, it it's gonna have b um bad results i would say uh, for the kid um because yeah she might not love rumpel but um the kid is st um is still rumples at the end of the day and um um hiding it is it, it, like she's starting uh, she is realizing that well rumple will love the kid there's no doubt about that and i can't run i can't run from him um yeah i don't have to love him etc but um i feel like the uh, i feel like my kid would have the right to know about who his or her father is so yeah well it, we know it's a him actually uh, i don't know why i'm saying his or her because of the fact that we 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 kind of saw him in episode one so um still you know timey wimey who knows like um maybe the future will like emma's fate maybe the future will be changed i don't know but no um in all seriousness um we uh yeah with with bell um i feel like there is this idea of um even though that you know she's not uh, a mills or whatever i guess um she still wants her kid to have um his best chance and rumple has um i feel like she need uh, she she is she is recognizing i don't need to have any romantic uh, attachments to rumple but i do want uh, i don't I feel like my um, kid has the right to know that he uh, has a father called Rumpel. And yeah, because, you know, that will be a whole other can of worms when he's about 18 or whatever and uh, finds out that, yeah, your father, he was the dark one. Why did you keep this from me? Yeah, so. Um, especially with the fact that Rumpel um, will, like I said, be very, very persistent in regards to wanting to know um, um, about his son i guess so yeah but yeah um and i also really really loved the whole emma and aladdin uh, situation especially with uh, aladdin running as well um um and emma uh, convincing him um to uh, go back to jasmine after he decided to bolt it so uh, from one savior to a former savior i guess so um that was really really great but what wasn't was the evil queen and rumple i don't even want to talk about it i mean there is just so much ickiness in that bullshit i'm just saying it. it's bullshit um whether it's um the fact that i mean he knew her uh, he knew 
I guess the evil queen since she was a kid to the point uh, or or whether it's you know the the fact that he is the grandfather of Henry she is the mother of Henry yeah I mean, Belle is definitely going to find out one day. Ugh, but I just have the perfect response to just describing that scene because, I mean, it was not great uh, the other episode when she was hitting on Rumpel. And now that we've gotten, you know, kissy kissy between them. Hey, hey, no, no. I do not subscribe to that ship. Not whatsoever. It, it's, no, it's gross. And it deserves to burn in hell. So, yeah. But um, aside from that, that can we we'll pretend that doesn't exist, okay? We'll we'll pretend um yeah we'll pretend that scene just never happened. Um, it was a great episode though, like especially with the whole father son dynamic, uh, especially with Hook and Henry. Um, but yeah, pretty. Uh, season six is just continuing to thrive in my opinion. So awesome stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.